Hi, and welcome to another video. So today is gonna to be a little bit of a different video. I got asked to show my hair product collection, so that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. So I'm just jumping in here on camera for the intro, and then the rest of it, I'm gonna be off camera just showing you my collection and talking about the products as I go along a little bit, not a whole lot, because I've done reviews on pretty much most of them, if not all of them. So you will be able to check those out in my playlist. But before I start showing you my collection, it's not held in any sort of fancy type setup. I downsized into a smaller apartment and the only place that I had to put all of my hair products is actually uh, shelves that are in my hallway. They're supposed to be for decorative items, but they now house my hair products. That's where they all are. So I will go ahead and show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is my shelving unit in the hall, and we're going to be using the hallway light set up here and just a microphone on my phone. Um, it's kind of hard to set up a tripod here in the hallway, but I'll give you a quick overview of what the shelves look like. It's just a built-in shelving unit in my hallway. I really don't have a whole lot of space in this apartment and don't have anything fancy to put all this in. So this is just where it gets tossed because I don't do decorative items because it's just stuff that I have to dust and I don't like that. Um, so anyway, over here I have my Curl Junkie stuff, which if you saw that review video, I really love Curl Junkie and want to try some more. But I've got my Coffee Cocoa Curl Cream and the Aloe Fix Gel. Those are my two favorites, but I did really like this as well. And then right next to it, I have my Evolve. So I have the Total Control, which was probably my most favorite of the two curl creams that I tried, which was the Smart Curl... Um, or Super Curl, there it is, the Super Curl uh, Defining Cream. I liked this one a little bit better. Um, it had more hold, but I used the two of them together, and this one is a very good curl cream as well. But I really liked how light and fluffy my hair was with these curl creams, and I used two of them, and even with two curl creams plus a leave-in, I didn't feel like my hair was very weighed down and it was nice and fluffy, and I really loved the Evolve products, including the shampoo and conditioner that I have back here. So that is the hydrating wash, and there is the conditioner. And then moving on, we have the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator, the Uncle, Uncle Funky's Daughter, and this was something else that I really liked, and I do keep playing with this one occasionally to find out how best to use it, but I used it with the Wee Dog Climate Control Gel and I really liked it that way. And I used it, I believe I used this with the Total Control Curl Cream and that was a great combination as well. Um, I just didn't do a video of it with these two together. I should actually just take pictures of those and like post those like maybe to my Instagram that I keep neglecting all the time. I don't know. So moving on, I have my Trey Lux stuff right here. So I've got the cleansing rinse. I've got the untie the knot, the leave-in conditioner. I have the reflex serum and then the curl enhancing styling gel and then this bottom one should be the cream. Yeah, four in one hydrating cream. And then behind it, let's see here, I'm short. So this is not the easiest thing, but I have my herbal essences, um, body envy mousse. And then right behind it, back there, you can kind of see the purple. That's the totally twisted one. So I have those there as well. And of the two, I liked the Body Envy one a little bit better, but they were actually both really good and really affordable. Okay, and then next to my Trelux, I have my Cake Beauty products. And I, this isn't everything that I got. I actually gave away a few things to my daughter's friend who is just starting to wear her hair wavy. The mousse I gave away and the serum I gave away, but I kept the Curl Crush, 
curl jelly. I really liked this gel. And then this main manager is a great as a leave-in and also as a refresher. And then there's the gloss boss back here. So there's, um, that's like a dry styling oil. And that was also a really good product as well. And then way back here is uh, the Curl Friend, and that is the Curl Cream, and it is a really good curl cream. So my two favorites, or actually my three favorites are right here, the, the Gel, the Main Manager, and then the Curl Friend Curl Cream. And then over here, I have the Twist products, and back there, I have the Shampoo, which is the On Repeat Gentle Oil Infused Shampoo. And then back there, I have the Weather or Not uh, Element defining, defying Conditioner. And down here, I have, let's see if I can get that on camera. And that's going to be the Boss Bounce, and that is a curl cream. And it is a fairly weightless curl cream, especially considering just how thick that it was. It pretty much amazed me. Like all this stuff is really pretty lightweight, but really, it just was really good. The twi and it's a great price point as well. It was all $9.99, but this is the Weather Up Gel. This is such a great gel, especially for the price. It just, it actually happened to be humid here when I was testing this out. Normally I live in a dry climate, but it actually was rainy and humid when I was trying it out and it held up amazingly well and then this is the oil and there's it's it's all oils in here but it doesn't feel really overly oily which doesn't make any sense I know but it it feels like a very lightweight oil and not super greasy and also not heavy like all these products are really lightweight on the hair and just really great products. I'm pretty impressed with the whole thing. So here is shelf number two, and I have the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. I don't have any of the knot today. I haven't tried that yet. I should probably try that, but I do obviously love this because it is almost gone. It's definitely one of my favorites. And then behind it, I have the Unite boing and I did have the shampoo and conditioner as well but I gave that away to a friend so I have the moisturizing curl cream I have the curl defining cream then there's the leave-in conditioner and then even though this isn't part of the boing line this is their elevate so it's their elevate mousse volume foam I tried this as well because they didn't have a gel in the boing line and I wanted to try it with a hold product and I can't remember, I think there's not really a gel in the Unite brand except for like men's gel, not that it matters at all anyway, but this is just what I decided to get and I do have a full review on this and these are really great products that I also really like. So here we have the orange marmalade and the jello shot and I have done reviews on all three of these. I do really like these. I did try these two together. That wasn't my favorite way of doing it. I have ha I've actually mixed this one. I've layered this one over the Evolve Total Control Curl Cream and that was a really great combination. Again, I should take pictures of these and post these as well um, because it was just such a really good combination. But we're gonna go ahead and move on. We have my Wee Dodd Ultra Nourishing Cleansing Oil Shampoo, and this usually lives in my shower. And then I have the Wee Dodd Advanced Climate Control Gel, and never mind the fact that I've got sticky stuck to it. I have tried to clean that off, but it didn't come off entirely. But anyway, one of my favorite gels and then the Vital Curl gel. So back here, I have some of the discontinued Curl Immersion and I absolutely loved these two. The Silky Souffle Setting Cream, there was quite a bit of protein or there's quite a bit of protein in this one and I love that and then pairing it with this over the top and that is the high defining um, custard and that is actually almost gone 
I used it so much. It's a really good custard and this is really good. Unfortunately though, these have been discontinued and they now have the curl infusion or the coil infusion instead of the curl immersion. And then another one from We Dot that I have that's been discontinued is this Play Curl Amplifying Foam. And I love this for giving volume up at my roots and before I start my brush styling or put in the curl cream or anything like that. That's how I like to use that. However, like I said, because it's been discontinued, I don't, I try not to use it a lot in my videos because you can't get it anymore. And then I have the Advanced Climate Control Feather Light Styling Cream and I have volumizing texturizing spray, which I've talked about in a recent video about hairsprays. And um, I also have this one, the Clean Sweep, and this one I talked about, it's Moisturizing Dry Shampoo. And I talked about this one in one of my videos about um, caring for your scalp in between wash days. And then next to that, I have my Alterna um, Caviar collection here. And this, I've done a video with these two. I absolutely love this mousse, this Bond Repair leave-in treatment mousse and it gave great volume. My hair felt really soft and light and fluffy and I just loved it with these two. And then this one I recently picked up and I will be doing a product battle between these two mousses just to see how they compare. So this one is the multiplying volume styling mousse. Like I said, I haven't tried that one yet, but I will be doing a video on that one soon. So next up I have my Briogeo and I've it's the Curl Charisma Shampoo and Conditioner and we'll just put those back out of the way and the Curl Charisma Frizz Control Gel and the Defining Cream here and then this is the Farewell Frizz Oil or Serum right here and then this is the Farewell Frizz uh, leave-in conditioning spray and I do love all of these. I just don't love them all together. Uh, they were just a little bit much for my hair all together but I do like mixing and matching with other products and this is really good for refreshing. And then back here I have my all-time favorite Biolage Gelee that I have talked about many times on my channel and especially recently. So I have that one and then I have the Whipped Volume Biolage Mousse over here as well. Both of these I have been using on and off for the past almost 30 years. There's, I just can't say enough good things about them. Biolage is just a great brand overall. I've used a lot of their products over the years and these are definitely two of my favorites with this one definitely being a huge favorite. And I have my Verb leave-in conditioner and curl cream. I do like both of those. As you can see, I have used this somewhat. It's kind of um, coming down there a little bit. I don't use it as often as I should because I do really like this one. The curl cream is great paired with the AG mousse gel. I really love that combination. But both of these are just really great products. I really like the Verb products. You've seen me use the Verb Ghost Oil millions and millions of times in my videos because I just really love the Verb Ghost Oil and Verb products in general are great. So we have another Briogeo one. As you can see, I like try to group things by brands over here, which is why it kind of looks like a mess, but sometimes I have things stuffed in other spots. But this is a Briogeo one as well, and it's the Be Gentle, Be Kind the avocado and kiwi mega moisture superfood mask and i haven't used this one yet my daughter did and she said it was moisturizing just not as moisturizing as what she would like it to be i don't use a whole lot of masks and deep conditioners myself uh, my hair is overall pretty healthy so i really don't need to be using a lot of masks and i just i've I don't do masks once a week. You, nobody needs to be doing them once a week unless your hair is quite damaged. But as a general rule, just this blanket statement of do a deep conditioner once a week. Well, no, not everybody needs that. It just depends on what your hair needs. And mine definitely does not need it. I will deep condition when I clarify my hair and I don't even have a set 
time or schedule for when I clarify. I do it whenever I feel like my hair needs it and then I do a deep conditioner then. So here are my Living Proof, the shampoo, conditioner, and curl definer. And then I also had like a little sample of the gel and I liked the definer and the gel. Probably my favorite of the bunch was the curl definer, the cream. I do like the shampoo and conditioner, but I, they're just, they didn't stand out for me as something that I will repurchase, but they were good quality and I liked them. It's just, I have others that I like better and they're fine, but they're here in case I need them or if I want to give them away to somebody else I know who's starting their curl journey, like another one of my kids' friends or something. But this was my favorite of the bunch there. And then over here I have Amika and this is the Hydrating Dry Shampoo Foam. And I recently discussed that in the same video that I talked about the other dry shampoo, the in-between wash day scalp care video. And then I have the Curl Core Defining Cream and the gel. And even though I liked those, they didn't give me the results that I really wanted when I tried them. However, I am going to be going back through and revisiting some of my old reviews to see if maybe my thoughts have changed because my hair has changed a little bit since then. So maybe there's something that my hair likes a little bit better now. I don't really know, but I am going to be revisiting some of my old reviews. And then the next one that I have here is going to be my bounce curl. And I absolutely love these two. I usually use these two paired together. Uh, just because I feel that they work really, really well together. But I have used this with other gels and um, I do, there is another cream that I just tried that I think this one would work really great with. So over here, I have my Curlsmith Corner and I've got the strength recipe stuff here. So I've got the Feather Light Cream, the Bouncy Strength Volume Foam, the Shape Up Aqua Gel, the Multitasking Conditioner, and then down below um, the stuff that I have on a lower shelf, which I pulled out of my shower. I have the Strength Recipe Shampoo as well. And then I also have the Bond Curl Rehab Salve and I have the moisture recipe so the hold me softly style bomb the in shower style fixer and the curl defining souffle and the hydro style flexi jelly so i do have quite a bit of the curl smith stuff and they do get a lot of hype but there is definitely reason for them getting a lot of that hype all right, so now we're down on at my third shelf and we'll take a look at what we've got back here. So we've got the Miss Jessie's back here in the corner. I have the Jelly Soft Curls and the Multicultural Curl, Curl Cream. And I liked the cream better than I liked the Jelly Soft Curls just because this is not a very hard holding gel. It's really light and was almost too light for me. However, I am keeping it because I think I can mix it with other things to make it work a little bit better. And then here I have the Formulate Shampoo and Conditioner, and I've been trying these out. I haven't reformulated anything on it yet. I've just been using those as is. And the reason why I haven't reformulated anything is just because I keep trying new things for the channel, so I just haven't had a chance to like really work my way through that but I will be doing a review on that as soon as I have gone through those and maybe even done a reformulation. And then down in front here, you can see I have my inner sense. I have the hydrating cream conditioner, and this is the hydrating cream hair bath. Uh, it's just that the writing has started to come off. And then behind it, I have the I Create Hold. I love this gel and the Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner. This is a really great leave-in conditioner. I love using this as a refresher. And then I have the Quiet Calm Curl Control uh, Cream, and that is a great cream as well. And as you can see, the writing has come off of that too. Um, this is actually getting pretty low. I need to order some more. And then I have the I Create Lift uh, volumizing foam, which I've tried this a few different times and it really just gives me a ton of frizz. And so it's not my favorite, I have to say. 
it gave me frizz when I reviewed these products and it gave me frizz when I've used it other ways, like even just up at my roots, it creates a lot of it, a lot of frizz. It gives me lift for sure, but it also just gives me a ton of frizz. And then over here, I have the Flora and Curl. And if you saw my review on this, I just didn't like pretty much any of it. It's very strong smelling and I just, the conditioner and the shampoo were just not very hydrating at all. And if anything, the thing that I liked the most was the hair mist, but the cream, uh, the curl cream and the gel were just, or the lotion, yeah, it's the curl activating lotion. We're not that great. So I just didn't like the whole lineup. And I bought their like trial kit or it came in a kit and that's what I tried there. And then back here I have my Camille Rose, the curl maker and my um, moisture milk. And then over here kind of off to the side, I have the aloe whipped butter gel. Back here is my AG corner. So I have the mousse gel. I have the spray body soft hold volumizer. I have the spray gel. This is a very hard holding gel and it provides thermal protection as well or heat protection. I have an older bottle of recoil that's almost gone. This is the older packaging and then uh, this is actually the new curl cream and I am currently filming a review video for this curl cream. Back here I have my Aura Bay. This is the styling butter curl enhancing cream and the mousse curl shaping mousse and then i have this is their cleansing cream so like a co-wash or conditioning or cleansing conditioner this is the leave-in conditioner and then so underneath that in this tub is my um, is the Curl Gelee, and I do love all of my Oribe products. I'm very happy with the entire brand. And then back here, I have my Rizos Curl uh, Light Hold Gel, which I really like a lot as well. And then I have some small Rizos Curls stuff here, the Refresh and Detangle Serum and the Curl Defining Cre uh, Cream. And I did give away the shampoo and conditioner, which there was nothing wrong with them. I just, like I said earlier, I have plenty of shampoos and conditioners and I just don't need that many at all. So I just gave away those sh the shampoo and conditioner to somebody so that they could give that a try. But I really like these and both of these are getting kind of low and I am going to need to repurchase. Um, I'm still doing really good on the gel because there is so much in there. And then the next thing that I have is the Curls Creme Brulee and the Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly and the Blueberry Bliss uh, Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. And I love all three of these as well. It's a really good brand and I really wanna try more of the Curl stuff. And then up front here, I have the Moroccan Oil Volumizing Mousse and Curl Defining Cream. And these are two products that I have yet to try. They're going to be in a video coming up where I actually talk about uh, the entire brand because I've tried a lot of the Moroccan oil brand. So even though I may not have everything from the brand here and now, I've tried so much of it in the past that I'm going to be able to demonstrate these while talking about the entire brand. And then over here, I have this pouch of my Jessica Curl stuff still and I have the cleansing cream, the Rockin' Ringlets, which I really love. This one, not quite as cleansing as what I'd like it to be, but it would be great for if you have to wash your hair a lot or you work out or whatever, whatever reason you need to wash your hair a lot, this would be great for using, um, kind of alternating with another shampoo. And this is a great curl enhancing um, styling potion. And then we've got the Awe Inspiraling Spray. I didn't care for that nearly as much as what I liked the Rockin' Ringlets. And I know that this is a refreshing spray. I don't usually like refreshing sprays a whole lot, especially if they're a little bit sticky. And then we've got the Confident Coils. And oh, look, it made a mess on the top of the thing. Looks like it leaked a little bit, but uh, there's the Confident Coils. This just wasn't 
quite enough hold for me. And then we've got the Touche Extra Moisturizing Conditioner, which I also, I do really like that. And it was a good conditioner, but nothing that's really gonna knock anything else out of um, my rotation so much. So, um, but I do like the Just Curl products and I'd like to revisit this one as well. But instead of using the Confident Coils, I'd like to try the Spiralicious, I think it is. And I think that's a stronger hold gel, so I want to give that one a try. But I do really love the Rockin' Ringlets. And this is the Camille Rose again. And then my Verb Ghost Oil, which you've seen multiple times. And then I also have this little Cantu Shea Butter um, Coconut Curling Cream. And then I have the Cantu Define and Shine Custard. I haven't tried these yet. This is going to be part of an upcoming video as well. I'm not sure when, but there will be videos coming up. The AG1, the Curl Refresh Definer that I pointed out that I'm currently reviewing is going to be the next video to go up after this one. All right, now we're down on the fourth shelf and I just moved everything, well, almost everything because the multitasking conditioner is up there. Um, that one is normally in my shower and these are all usually in my shower. So these are my shampoos and conditioners that I use on a regular basis. And some of them look a little bit gross because of it, but that's real life. So I have my Verb Ghost Shampoo, my Biomega Silk Shampoo back here, and then the We Dodd Curl Quencher Moisturizing Conditioner. These two, the Verb and the We Dodd one, you've probably heard or seen me talk about on my channel quite a few times because I use them a lot and they're pretty much my go-to. And then this also stays in my shower as well. It's my Hydro Cream Soothing Mask. And like I said, I just don't use masks and deep conditioners all that often. I pretty much only use it when I um, do my clarifying and then I use the mask after that. And the Amiga Nice Cream, so cleansing conditioner. This is a great cleansing conditioner. I do use this one if I wash my hair more often than normal. Otherwise, I'm not much for using just cleansing conditioners because I do have oily hair, so I typically need to use something that's a little bit more cleansing. Back here, we have my Moroccan oil moisture repair conditioner, another one that you've probably heard me talk about a lot on this channel because it is one of my all-time favorite conditioners and I am never without a bottle of that. And then I also have my Malibu Sea Undo Goo for my clarifying shampoo and it's just, it's a great clarifying shampoo. It is a chelating shampoo so it does remove mineral buildup from your water. It removes pollution from the air, especially if you live in an urban area where there's air pollution, it'll get rid of that. Plus it removes buildup from products. And then my Olaplex number three, and I've actually had this bottle for quite some time. And you can see that I still have a little bit left. I don't use that much of this each time that I use it. And then this next one is my we dialed Ultra Nourishing Intense Hydrating Mask, and that is another one. It's a lot like the, it's from the same line as the Cleansing Oil Shampoo, which is also absolutely amazing. This is the mask that I typically use, and you can see it's got gunk on it. Sorry about that, but this is... You know, the, this lives in my shower and it looks like it does, and there's not much left in here, so it's almost empty. But this one I use the most after my clarifying, after I clarify it with this, I'll use this more often than not, just because I feel like it leaves my hair nicely hydrated and balanced. It's got protein, it's got moisture, it's got everything, and my hair just is, I've got a nice, good foundation to build the rest of my routine on after using this conditioner. And then over here I have my Double Cream Deep Quencher Mask by Curlsmith, which I do like, but I haven't used it a whole lot because I just like the Weedad one better because it is more balanced and this is strictly moisture with no protein. So then I have two shampoos from Curlsmith. So I have the Vivid Tones Vibrancy Shampoo and the Core Strength Shampoo. 
and I'm not a fan of either of these shampoos. I don't know if it's just a Curlsmith thing, like I haven't tried all of their shampoos, but these two shampoos leave like a weird feeling on my hair afterwards, like almost rubbery or it's hard to explain, but I really don't like it. So I tend not to use those two shampoos very often or ever because of that. Like I just don't, it doesn't seem to have like a long lasting effect on my hair, but I just don't like it. It just feels strange. And then I have this, which is my oil or my curl conditioning oil and cream. And I love this leave-in conditioner. Love it. I've used quite a bit of it and use it. It's one of my favorites and I tend to use it almost every single time that I do my hair, uh, unless I'm doing a review video and I'm reviewing a different leave-in. This is the leave-in that I typically gravitate towards this one. Or the other one is the multitasking conditioner, also from Curlsmith. If I need a little bit of protein in my hair, I will use the multitasking one. And I prefer the multitasking conditioner as a leave-in as opposed to using it as a deep conditioner or a conditioner. And then I've got my weightless air dry cream from Curlsmith. I tend to use this one if I want really light, bouncy, airy, voluminous kind of look to my hair, or if I just don't feel like I need the oil and cream. Or the other thing that I tend to use this for is when I go product free, I just throw in the weightless air dry cream and I will just literally let my hair air dry. It's not one that I reach for nearly as often as this one or as often as the multitasking one, but I do use it for, like I said, lazy hair or if I really want to get some volume into my hair. So this bottom shelf, we're finally at the bottom here. And I realized I left these two, the aquage ones, sitting on my vanity in my bathroom. So I quick grab those and put those here. Otherwise, this whole bottom shelf is products that didn't work well for me, that I didn't really much care for, and will probably be giving away at some point in time to somebody who might like them a lot better. So I've got the OGX, the Locking Plus Coconut Curls Decadent Cream Mousse, the Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Curl Defining Lotion, uh, the Curl Defining Shampoo from Naughty, the Curl Defining Taming Cream also from Naughty, uh, Naughty to the Rescue Anti-Frizz Serum, the Curl Devi Defining Conditioner, the Hello Curls, I think this is the leave-in conditioner. So this is a curl primer and then the scrunching jelly from Naughty as well. And if you watched my review video on Naughty, you will know that I just, I didn't care for it. I didn't like the smells. They were way overpowering and the products were not good enough for me to put up with the overwhelming fragrance from these products. So like I said, most of these are going to be given away to somebody else who might better appreciate them. And then over here, these are just two that were sitting on my vanity that I forgot about. And it's the Aquage Silkening Oil Treatment, which I've used for years and love. And this is a fairly new bottle. And the only reason why there isn't more missing is because I discovered Verb Ghost Oil and have been neglecting my Aquage but that doesn't mean that I don't like the Aquage anymore. I definitely do. It's just, I've really been stuck on the Verb Ghost Oil and I do that sometimes. And this one is my Aquage Working Spray, which you've probably seen me use in quite a few videos recently about hairsprays. I just absolutely love it and keep going back to it. I do want to try more working sprays and hairsprays in general so that I'm not only ever talking about the Aquage hairspray and, but for right now, this is what I have and that's what I like. And we have now reached the end. Okay, so that was my collection. And as I believe I mentioned earlier in this video, there are some products that I did have. However, I gave some of them away because I just don't need this many products. So ones that didn't really work that well for me have been given away and given to much better homes where they are 
much more appreciated and loved. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more content like this, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or if there's anything that you'd like to see, please go ahead and leave that down below in the comment section. And as always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.